He's just class. I think this is a really good way of discovering the music as well. Because sometimes when somebody sends you a song, they're like, "Oh, check this out! You fucking love it." It doesn't sit the same as like, "Here, never let me play it. this song hmm. for you." Yeah, yeah, just for you. Yeah. That'll be nice. <laughs> I've not decided on which song, but I've got my playlist ready. I'm happy. Uh, I, I can go any time. Fucking, I um, I don't know what I want to play. Uh, Wait, Sean, were you saying yours is long, you should go first, or yours is long, we should save well, it? I, I was just putting it out there. Just, it is long. <laughs> well, if yours is long, and maybe, I, I've got one. We've got, we've got ten minutes worth of music that we can use. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got, I think I know what one I'm going to buy go time. For. Yeah, right, okay. So we'll never sell out on this podcast, but the refreshing <laughs> taste of Coke. What's the, what's, what's the, what's the quote I'm thinking of? From... That is something refreshing, right? It's... What's, what's this it? Is, uh... Oh yeah, that's refreshing. These are my notes from the last time uh, we were on the podcast. <laughs> and I don't know if you can read them. Or is it flipped? Can you read them? Uh... Trying out a new pen right now. <laughs> Hello. Oh, the quick yes. brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. <laughs> My calligraphy is shite. Governments will use coronavirus to seize my power. <laughs> this reminds me of Miss Houseman. Blah, blah, oh. blah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we recording just now, eh? Yeah, we've been recording for 11 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I like, this, I like this better. It's more relaxed. Yeah. We can just, we can just I do it. I, I don't care anymore. I mean, I'm... I, it's my weekend. My one day weekend, so... Uh, how are we all doing... I'm just looking through my notes uh, from from look for my notes. like oh, a, a workshop on on uni. It's the wrong way around. You can read yeah, it. wrong way. Yeah, read it. A real man could. Low. Uh, Lom Liam. Lom go. Liam. Yeah. I know then, you to something. Can't see it. It's faded. I want you to love me, Fiona Apple. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, <can> focus. <laughs> You need to do that. Symbol Fucking sounds like dead. in a tiny room, big piano sound. That's all I wrote. <laughs> For you. Maybe I should okay. take notes. In my moleskin notebook. Uh, aye, who's jumping in? Uh, we'll Wait, start. I'll, 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 I've started to <coughs> I'll jump in. I'll, I'll, I'll <coughs> uh, what's, tell, tell us the name. Tell, who, tell us who it's by. Oh, it's... Uh, it's the main, it's just Mind's Eye by Jordan Rakai. And there's a live <laughs> session called The Pool Session. And that's the one I'm going for. Cause... Jordan Rakai. Rakai. I think it's pronounced Jordan Ra Rakai. It's R A K E I. But yeah. He also has a, a an alter ego called. That's my nose. Oh, shit. R A K E Y. E I. E I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, this one, he gets like so many musicians in, and it's just it's, it's really modern sort of. Yeah, right, I'll just go. I'll go. I'm going. Let's Let's make it. Have it. Voices all in my head, never to whisper again, never to sing me to sleep over the dream. Right there, caught out in the rain, drenched in a memory of pain, sold by the old sour taste. Let's hope for the better. Play to the mind wide open, waking the beast by the middle. Play for the least I'm hoping, show you the doorway to my soul. Produce a 
Not that. Nice. It's um, it's one of those tunes that you'd have on a playlist, but you would not want to play if you were just jumping the car for ten minutes. I feel like I wouldn't right. put it on the car for ten minutes, so because I wouldn't want it to get cut off. No, I'm saying, saying that, it's no not... I'm saying that it's like if you were going on like a very long drive and it came in the middle. Yeah, yeah, because it, it really it really builds and towards the end, but like mm-hmm. almost mm. like, grabs you. Like I like that the. When it starts, just that sort of twinkling synth that keeps repeating and repeating and repeating, just pulls you into the sort of trance. It's really nice. It keeps it kind of keeps coming back through the song, and it's just kind of or it kind of feels like rain at the start. It's, uh, it's nice. It's layered very well. Yeah, in yeah. You like it? Like uh, the the bass is like a whole. Like in the in the mix, it was like a whole wall in the background, mm, mm. and I feel like then on top of it, like it, because it's like a big part of the the sound in the space. I feel like the drums really give that a lot of shape, like the drummer and the percussion. Mm-hmm. I feel like oh, it kept percussion. that. I like that percussion that came oh. in at the end as well. Yeah, like it kept. It had like it was it was quite weird because like the grooves we were playing, you know, it was quite like kind of Latin feely, yeah, but then yeah. also it was like yeah. still like super, like I mean, quite jazz and I guess like quite. Still, like, not the most, like, new style, but I guess just in the context of, like, the instruments it was with, it sounded really... It made it sound super, super modern. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I really like it. His, him and his drummer are the only... I, I'm pretty sure everyone else that was in that room when they made it isn't part of, like, the regular group. The sort of, oh, jeez. I think they were hired for that particular session. That's pretty cool. Pretty sick. What, uh, what session is it like? It's called the pool session. I don't know if that's got anything to do with that group that they've done it with, but that's what it's called. Oh, fair. <coughs> uh, uh, that, that, was it like a, a saw synth or something that came out of like, the middle? Just the really like, it was just that on its own, where it was <laughs> Yeah, uh, it sounded like, like the, something out of Deadmau5. In the very middle, yeah, I was thinking something like that. Like, I really liked it when that came in. And then it was kind of like s- the same thing, but a bit softer at the end as it sort of like layered with everything else. But I really liked in the middle when that just came in. Yeah. And it's like... Did you come across him? So, um, Is it a group? Is you know it? Tom Mesh? Yeah, no, yeah. It's just Jordan Mackay. I hope I'm saying that right. Mm. Yeah, so Tom Mish is, uh, I think, so... Tom yeah, Mish, you said. Tom Mish with a Tom Mish. Mm. You've definitely heard some of his stuff. Yeah. But way back in the day, like, when Tom Mish was coming up, he'd done a tune with Jordan. That's how I found him. I was following Mish for a while. But, yeah, there's they also do a podcast with Tom, Jordan, Alpha Mist, and Barney. It's this competition, Sean. No free clout. <laughs> no free clout. It's just Barney McKenna. I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah. No, he's he's really he, he talks a lot about uh, lucid dreams and uh, astral projection. Yeah, I got an astral projection vibe from that. So. Yeah. <laughs> like it was sort of like. What in the hell is astral projection? <laughs> what in the hell? I like that. Somebody yeah, want to tell me what that is, please. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. He has a he has a Juno sixty, I think, which is one of those classic eighty oh. synths. Mm. But that one he was using there was a lot like a modern sort of version of it, I think. So, um, yeah. we have a wallet, sir. Um, <laughs> no shit. Do you want it? I just... <laughs> I'll hit. Because uh, hey, it doesn't work. Wish? It needs. It needs. It needs to be restored, but we've essentially had it for 40 years. Oh my god. That's and uh, it's like just my dad got it from like a junk sale, like uh-huh. for like 15 quid in 1986, half his pal. <laughs> and it's just like sat and done none. Gathered so dust. We have a wallet, sir. So. I mean, if it was restored, is that not worth like some cash? Serious. Uh, I'll take it. Away. I'll take it for none. 
<laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, right. I'll give you a tenner. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know the make and model, but um, I'll look how it up. Like, how how uh, likely is it to be able to be restored? Um, I'm sure with enough Churchillian drift, it could be restored. <laughs> What the fuck does that mean? Elbow grease. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it means if you believe, dog. you can achieve. Dog, it? Was it? No, Churchillian drifts like uh, one of those coats. No, Churchillian, like. <laughs> right. Chin <laughs> so sorry. Churchillian. Uh, aye. Um, aye. Oh. So, I don't know if it's the same thing, but it's like. Might as well have a look. I don't know. I don't know how much it's worth. I don't know how much it's worth. Um, but it's got lots of buttons on it. I know that. Look good on the mantelpiece. Here, here. Uh, I would. I didn't even. I, I didn't <laughs> know it was in. Uh, it's in Steely Dan stuff, but it's also in Miss You, the Rolling Stone. Miss You, the Rolling Stone. Aye. Yeah. 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 It's legit. Oh. Aye. Yeah, I can take like, a. If you if if you don't get a Fender Rhodes, you get a Warlitz Stone. I'm gonna take a picture of it. It might not Sorry. be like the one you're thinking of. It might just be some I'm heavy sure version. Yeah, the Aye. plain version. <laughs> 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 guy in plain making a bit of his garage. Yeah. Somebody's... I, it was, I imagine it's it's going to be very difficult, but there's probably a video of somebody doing some sort of restoration on one somewhere. I bet you it's just one wire. Well, to the highest bidder, and you three are the bidders, so. There you go. Well, I yeah. Tenor. I reckon, but I, I genuinely reckon between us we can make it work. Aye. Michael studies piano electronics. That's piano. Uh, piano. Piano, not piano. Play me some piano. I bet we are screwed. I like your tune though. Aye. I would love to to get that working, man. I would actually. Aye. Because the Fender Rhodes is just so out of the realms of possibility because even if you got the money for it mm. try and find one like a real one because some people that have it they want to keep it aye aye oh, <laughs> home yeah it's one of those ones like from they were made like by hand pure quality like an old really good old guitar it's like they don't make them by hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I just let's see I'm gonna go and google it and then go shopping oh for a uh... For continuity uh, purposes, I need from last week to our viewers. Oh, yeah. What? Um, you, you cut out a wee bit for me there, what do you think? He's... I'm saying I need to correct myself from last week. I said That's that Billy right. Strings oh, played oh, a bourgeois. Right. That's right. Did not. And, I and, tell and, you. and, and uh, basically, it does me. Um, put, it, put it on screen now. Swanny in the I group. I talk chat. shite. And uh, he plays a Preston Thompson custom D. On or something, whatever it's called. But he plays a ton of guitars, but in that video it's a Preston Thompson, so I was wrong. He's probably played whatever it is you said before at some point, so yeah. Ah, he's definitely played right. a bourgeois. Can you, can you Oh, there you we see go. That? Yes, can we can. can. That's what I'm thinking of, yeah. Yeah, it's not that, but <laughs> it's like that. It is like it. Is it like it in that it's a piano based instrument? <laughs> yes. It says wallets are on it. It's... Is, is Wurlitz are carved in on it or written in Sharpie? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's... Why is that one? Oh, it's a WAV. It's just an audio file of a Wurlitz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll show you a picture of, of a Wurlitz. What? It's a, it's a, my, my one's a lot Thanks. more chunky. It's like a, like a, almost like organ like. Wow. It just sounds like exactly the kind of thing your dad would just have. <laughs> is it got For no reason. <laughs> I wonder if we, we should be able to find something that looks similar to it, right? Yeah. Uh, like a. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> I like cushion. <laughs> I saw this morning goes in his back room. He's like, oh, it was just a cushion. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it needs restored though. But <laughs> he's new stuffing. <laughs> we can get the same hang on yeah, our t-shirt. With enough work, it'll sound great. <laughs> I'm liking this this uh, deviation from our usual podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is EPA, something no, it's so filler. consistent. This is some good filler crap. I love it. It's fantastic. I like that. This feels, like, this feels like a episode of PK. Yeah, I, I mean, I, this is that's the vibe. That is the. See, oh, that, that's, uh, that's your boy. Like, oh, there he is again. Look. <laughs> so is he so is he charging 
Is he like selling a performance on eBay? I think he's he's selling like, Fuck it. legs. Set, legs. Set legs. Oh. Set legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My man's selling half a table. Uh, wait, stand up performance where well, it's a legs set of four. So just the legs. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's just clickbait. That's I think crazy. the list boy hears about IKEA man and the tables oh. are selling. It. I'm sure that they probably like screw it in the book, mate. Ah, uh, yeah. Aye, so we put up a lot, so. Yeah, he's selling legs. He's doing nothing. My dad uh, yeah. put it on Gumtree, so. For like, the, um, my music. Danny put it on Gumtree. But for how much? Because I'll, I'll give him, I'll give him what he's asking for. I'll give him, right, I'll ask him, I'll ask him. Right. I'll give him triple. I'll give him what Sean's asking Sean, for. To... <laughs> to be fair, Sean, you maybe want to make sure it's like a keyboard or something. Really. I'll <laughs> no, give you whatever you're asking, I'll give you. Aye, aye, aye. 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 <laughs> Sean actually gets like, a bunch of fishing gear, like, <laughs> or branded box, <laughs> with some keys in it. Uh, best twenty quid you've ever spent. <laughs> Aye. All right. Uh, so we want to do the one next. Sean, what what um was your song quite a recent recent track? Yeah, it's really modern. Yeah. Who's 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 going to get the most modern of the? Because mine's is um from two thousand eleven. Well, I'm oh, it if you beat. Mine's more modern. Now. Yeah, it's from uh, 2018. It's from uh, the the. To be fair, the original song might have been released way earlier than that. Cause that was a. Is that a cover? No, it was like. Oh, a performance. A, With live performance yeah. of it, yeah. So, the song I'm going to play for you this week is um, "Daylight" by Thundercat off of his um, debut 2011 uh, album. Which is nice. <laughs> there we go. I know them changes, but I haven't heard that one, so that's good. Good, because have you got it on vinyl? I did ask. Yes, of course I do. Wow, that's minty. Looks like Predator. It's the Thundercats logo. Idiot. What's the song name? It is Daylight. So Daylight. Daylight. Yes. Uh, so give me the thumbs up if you can hear it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nice. It was good until those last like three bass notes, and it just <sighs> that was actually the start of a next song, but I got to pause. <laughs> no, that, feel, that was awesome. I feel like the very start was just so on brand for like Liam. Oh really? Yeah. Like, it just sounds like the kind of yeah. It just like it, was, it just seemed like like no random noises, but like quite erratic and quite. Yeah, I think random's an alright word for his sort of genre that he's created. Defo. Yeah. I thought it, sounded, uh, it reminded me of um, I don't know the name of the song, the Wolf song, like Marjorie. Oh, oh dim, ch, dim, ch, yeah, like, I don't know, but like vocal wise, it was that kind of like it didn't really sound like it was coming from a person. Like there wasn't right. like, body to it, but there was like you could hear the word, and it was like yeah. big and echoey. Yeah, and, like to me, it sounds like long almost. Like it feels like it's going. I get that. Like, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how I would describe it. I, I really like the. The contrast between the very melodic xylophone or glockenspiel against the like very very jazzy bebop it's key almost like a keys e piano synth thing that's going yeah 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 i like thundercat the, the, i've my, my only note i've written is I will. Sounds like synth R two D two. And then there was a wee bit like some sort of vocals, like a like a ten second bit. Yeah. That sounded like um, like a uh, kind of. Uh, I don't know. Sounded like a bit like just kind of funk, kind of backing vocals. I thought I go for it. I don't uh, even, I don't really have much to say about it. What 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 bit in the vocals? The just the, the bit at the start. Like that. Like it's like about maybe thirty seconds in. Alright. I wasn't even listening. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's a it's a tough one to like comment on. I think. Yeah. Like there's just like it's big sounds that I don't really have like words for, which I guess is kind of testament to. I imagine that's the kind of thing that he's going for, is. More like a, you know, it was certainly more of like a feeling than like a thing that you can describe mm. easily, or at least I can anyway. There's a really like playful, playfulness to like what kind of sounds he picked. He wasn't yeah. trying to fit into any particular genre. He just kind of like, I like. Yeah, this and I mean, class at the base, just oh, <laughs> absolutely yeah. wonderful. Goes without saying, yeah. but. Uh, yeah. When he's on uh, Mac Miller's tiny desk. Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, that's fun. They have a lot of fun. Yeah, they do. They do. That was such a good oh. tiny desk. One of my favorites. I love that. And then I was like, you know, Mac Miller, this guy's fucking, this guy's great. And then like that week, he like passed yeah, away. Yeah, and it was the most. I remember that. It was so fucking sad. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, nice song like that. Fun. Tunes. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't. I didn't know how to. Just, I don't have like. I can't comment on it. I don't know what yeah. to say. It's, it wasn't bad. Like, he's, it was bad. Uh, he's like a. He's. I didn't know, and I still don't really know that much. But he's like a producer on. He's a, like he produces songs with a lot of different. Artists. Yeah, yeah, and there's some stuff. Listened recently with like Flying Lotus and stuff like that. That's totally like. What would out you there as class well. that as like? What does that? Like, I, I know like it probably. That's such a. Everybody hates look at the genre. Put in a box, but what what is it yeah. like? What what is that? Like what would he? What would he? I know. Sort stuff. of experimental R and B or something like that. Yeah, yeah. very experimental. <laughs> Just I could be. I don't know. Contemporary yeah, I don't know R&B, jazz, jazz electronica. Yeah, jazz, I feel like my my kind of... do my default if I don't know a genre and it's jazz. Like not obviously something that's just jazz. Yeah, because I, I had a, I had like a. Started it as a debate and then turned into like an argument with a flatmate of mine when I was in Guildford uh, studying music. <laughs> um, where I was like, oh, it's just like chat with Benny Greb. I was like, oh, it's jazz. And he's like, well, it's not jazz because it's not doing like the. And I was like, aye, but it's no just. Like, that's jazz, but it's no only I'm that. It's going be jazz. jazz if there's no trumpet in it. Aye, pretty much. And we had. <laughs> <laughs> And like we had an, a, like such a long like argument about this for so long that just went back. <laughs> There's your it trumpet. Was just, it was just like he'd say, "Oh, that's no jazz," and I'd be like, "I it is." 
Uh, go, Aye, but if it was jazz, it would be jazz, and it's no, therefore, it's no what jazz. What is jazz? Where'd I go? Genres should be used loosely because. Aye. Aye. Artist, artists should come first, and then genres should be like, oh, well, he don't know that. He's kind of like, you know what I mean? Rather yeah. than, mm. oh, this is For this sure. Aye. thing. Aye. Aye. There's no point. There's no I feel point like it's maybe really useful when you're like very like starting out getting into music yourself mm. like when you're very first listening to music like oh i like that song that song's that's a rock song i will listen to another rock song yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck is it like before you like easy, if you were like looking it up Brown's in a library funk. yeah the quote keith like, Richards. Miles davis is jazz all right go on some people like rock i much prefer the role <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean <laughs> <laughs> Ah yeah, no that I I I as ever Liam, you've introduced me, son. I've never seen before. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Well, like I literally, I would like. It was ten minutes before this. I was just like, shit. I don't know. Like I don't. I can't think of like a song. I want to play something that's like, like interesting. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get something that's interesting. Something that I've remember like listening to for the first time and be like, oh shit, this is something. This is something new. This is, I can't clap and beat with this this drum. It's oh, it's a it's a regular at some point. So I don't know what's going on. This is this is crazy. But I just pressed shuffle on Spotify and it was the first thing that came up. And I was like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Yeah. Them changes is, is oh yeah. Crazy. Me like it's a song that most people know what is, right? Yeah, yeah, probably. It's a really. Really, really popular one. You keep on like fading in and out of your back. It's just it's 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 a metaphor. I'm like I'm present. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what is existence? <laughs> oh yeah, moral dilemma. Shout out to our friend in Texas. Clown. Um, having an existential crisis. There, it was a moral crisis. Oh, sorry. Um, I can't. Oh, I can't. Anyway, I was waiting for the conversation. Oh, the question. No, I want. The question is. Do objective morals exist? Oh, um, <laughs> I, I don't care what you think. Let's move on. <laughs> Answer is no. Uh, right, let's move on. Nah, not really. Nah. nah. I well, Bubba Hitch is going to be blowing you up in the next day or two. Well, that's that's <laughs> oh, objectively ahead, immoral. Can. Right, somebody play that on our phone. Uh, but um, you don't. What I would say is that you don't need framework to define. Uh, yeah, we we, we also said that. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, it's funny. Do you want to go next or will I? Um, what type of tune is yours? Because I'm split on what I'm going to play. Um, more modern than, than what you're probably going to play. Nah, I'm not gonna play. I'm playing a song from last year, or I'm less modern than song. what you're gonna play. I, I'm either um, gonna play a song from last year or a Leonard Cohen song. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't really say it's gonna be upbeat. But I, I, I don't play upbeat songs. Very strange, hella upbeat. Yeah, there's a song here that I would have maybe played, but I can't remember exactly how it goes, so I don't want to. Just in case right. it's shite. Why don't I just go? Right. That's okay, son. Right, I'll just go and that, that'll be it. Okay, I'm going to play a song by Tyler Childers, okay? I'm just going to do okay, it. That's who I'm listening to a lot for the last year. What's it called? It's called Creaker. And it's from his 2019 release, Country Squire. <laughs> Country boy! Um, and basically it's just made me realise how much I missed the pub. And talking to like old guys like James McKeown. <laughs> like I miss I miss like just chats with like old boys. Aye, they thought we met. At, um... That was yeah. That was what that that Celtic pub in Glasgow. Ed, I, we, me and Ed were talking. We looked over at you, and he started laughing. I was like, "What uh. is it?" And he's like, "Swanee's walked in here," and he's went. Let me find the oldest cunt in here. Let's start a conversation. With him. Wait, we were wait. talking to some guy. He was like, "I'm in here seven days." Ah, I'm in here. I love you. He's a sound guy. Like, he's a new friend now. When we were at the pub, like just before, like or just before, maybe like a month before lockdown, and I can't for the fucking life of me think of the name of the pub. The Scotia. Uh, was it the Scotia? Ah, oh, it was. We're on the snug. Aye, all right. The world's famous Scotia. Scotia bar. 
Ken, I was thinking Scotia is the Clutha, and then I was like, what's the Clutha? But, aye, in the Scotia, I go to the toilet, go get a pint, come back, and the other folk that were sat in the snug, one is like, got four of them, just like, surrounding them, just like, listening to all the shit that he's talking. <laughs> and I come back, and he's just having like a, he's, he's been chatting for like 15 minutes, like he's waited for me to go to the toilet to be like, <laughs> excuse me. Sam. Aye. And how many free pints did you get with it? Two. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll take it, Liam. Is the Scotia in the West End? Or am I uh, no, it's... It's not the West End. It's, uh, it's, it's, you know where Guitar Guitar is in Glasgow? Well, yeah. Merchant City, kind of. Next to Maggie Mays. Next to Maggie Mays. Uh, Shut yeah. up. <laughs> Mention them in the same breath. <laughs> um, no, right, Back so the Scotia Bar is in Stockwell Street, which is just down for the Strong Gate. Um, so I, it's like between the Clyde, Glasgow Green, and Guitar Guitar, like that. Yeah. Wee area. Uh, yeah. Shout out to our sponsors. One of the oldest pubs in Glasgow, if not the oldest. <laughs> um, aye, great, great, great place. Can't wait to go back to there once this is all over. Be, if this is all over. That. If this ever ends. Listen. <laughs> anyway, let's Can play I talk song. like that? Aye, let's play the song. Uh, right, what, 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 what am I doing with this thing? Share again? screen. Share um, screen. Advanced. advanced. Oh, what the fuck happened there? Oh, fuck. Yo. Share. Right. Uh, right, Tyler Childers, Creeker <coughs> from last year's release, Country Squire. Here we go. small corner bar he sits there drinking lost as a ball in a field full of corn further away than he ever imagined that he'd ever end up from the place he was born now no more for
that nature Some fellas chase girls Hang on their arm Some fellas give by On practically nothing Some fellas get pissed In small corner bars Changed the end of the song. Nobody has ever done that. <laughs> that was quite sad. Yep. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah. Didn't it? It didn't really feel that sad though, because I feel like it sounded so like inviting. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think it, it was sad. But yeah, I mean, lyrically. I, I didn't take in the lyrics. The lyrics are sad. I didn't but take in the lyrics at all. The, the lyrics are sad, but I don't think it's a sad I song. I know. It's kind yeah, of yeah. a keep on trucking kind of song <laughs> you know i wrote i wrote here city fuck uh, city fucks city folks just don't get it <laughs> i think that's the tagline for farmersonly.com the farmers dating website <laughs> I thought, um, the tagline for Bob <laughs> as soon as it um started like the groove like just all like the instruments together it was just so smooth and so rigid and it just let you like forget yeah. about them straight mm. away you know what i mean like it was just the it was there and you're not I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. you just you know it's not going to go anywhere you can just relax into it Aye. yeah yeah i really liked like the little interludes where it's more of that psychedelic country i was going to say like at the very start i thought it was going to be psychedelic things. yeah like yeah. our good friend it was just sort of they, they done it in the little bridges between yeah sections. yeah like and it was sort of reminiscent of that Billy String song we heard last time. Yeah, mm. last week's episode. Um, <laughs> just just on just on the lyrics, man. It's like whenever I like whenever I listen to that song, it's like obviously you didn't want to be that old guy at the bar, right? Like that's no uh, way yeah, you want so to be. Just do it. <laughs> but but there seems like, to be some dignity there. There, there it's almost like. Um, if you're universally liked by everybody that's in like a pub and like it's like you're just a bit of the furniture like i've like i've been in pubs in dublin where it's like there's guys that are just like in there all the time and like i it can be quite sad <laughs> like that can be viewed as quite sad but actually like those are like the characters that color people's lives Aye. like th that you don't get people like that so often and like they're they're actually quite important. Like places places that have that kind of, um, like the type of pub where you can go in and have a conversation with a complete stranger, like that's really important. Yeah, mm. and and is it are you talking about the kinds of people that you talk to, and then after you talk to them, they will forget about you immediately. Not in a not in a like bad way. Just they're in always, a, they're always but, in that but, pub but chat. You, you will you will you will actually take whatever they've done and it will change you in a uh, way for the mm -hmm. better in terms of like personality like that one u.s yeah. marine we talked to on the train that time yeah there's people like that that you just he just started chatting to us because he was fucking pissed yeah. <laughs> or, or do you remember sure, um, jacob do you remember that boy we were rough jacob, uh, we were rough Stuart. Stuart in, in the Stuart. morning <laughs> what was that something do you remember that boy we were I can't mind we were coming back for a night i think it might have been just the toby night that we went on just what the boys the first one the first one night and we got the train back and we talked to a guy that like worked in India and like worked. Oh yeah, yeah. And that was just like, 
just like a total by chance conversation. It's like obviously it wasn't really like steaming or that, but it's like yeah. just a really good conversation. You forget how forget how good just like random conversations that will only happen once in your life can be. Aye. Uh-huh. Like, it kind of restores your kind of faith in like just people mm-hmm. being people yeah. rather than like. And it, it's one of those ones that's like you talk to him and you would never assume he'd done all the things he'd done by looking at him. I mean, how could you? Aye. But I'm just Aye. saying, like, as soon as you, you hear that, don't judge a book by his cover. The thing is, uh, that kind of idea reminds me of an old guy who used to come in, like, I used to work at a Spoons, you know, not like a, a pub. Uh, it was a pub, but it was a big, big giant conglomerate chain yeah. turned into a nightclub at night. But there was a guy who came in, like every shift I did there, this old boy was in. And I feel like maybe to him, you know, he's the old guy that ever, anyone could go in and have a chat, chat to. But he would come in every shift and, you know, he'd come in at like 10, you know. Yeah. He'd get served as early as he could. I kind of mean, uh, legal yeah. time. But he would stand in the same place all day. And, you know, he'd go home when, like, the club tunes were starting. But, like, he wouldn't chat to anyone of that. He would just come in and drink on his own and spend all his money on, like, two pound things. And it was the kind of way that every time I seen him, it just made me sad because, like, that's what he had done. And I feel like he... I don't know if it... I mean, I, I can't assume for him how he feels about it, but... Did you ever speak to him? Well, yeah, like, I would... Every now and then, like, if we were quiet and, like, if I'm, like, serving him his drink and that, but, you know, we'd chat and you'd just be like, oh, aye, aye, that's how it's going. Oh, yes, yeah. that's how it's going. Uh, you know, it's like that kind of way that he's out to drink. And it was just always, I wouldn't, I'd, I mean, I wouldn't maybe like, want to influence our viewer. <laughs> but um, it's that kind of way that I feel like he almost thought he was like the kind of wise old man idea. That was the same. Aye. Uh, uh, but it uh, really was just a guy. Because he, he, was he was an old boy, like, but... Um, He's, he's really just a guy that was in there drinking all the time rather than like, oh, he's a character, didn't he? Aye. Aye. Um, Aye. It's funny because and, and that, that, that kind of very fine line between being... A like, character and a like sad a, bastard. Aye. <laughs> Aye. But sometimes sad characters are yeah. bastards. Aye. It's like a different kind of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes bastards are yeah. sad characters. I'm probably fucking killing you. Aye. <laughs> I like the song though. Uh, I like the uh, really the lyrics. Well. Some fellas do drugs and things of that nature. I just thought um, some they may turn to cocaine. Mm. <laughs> Pure alcohol. <laughs> <That's brilliant. brilliant. laughs> <laughs> lyrics are like one of the last things I ever take in. So that kind of thing. But I did yeah, think about too. like just every time I hear his voice, is it just impresses me. How good his voice is, how rich his tone is. Yeah. How pure his, uh, and then you think about I heard Louis Capaldi in the car today. And it's like people think he has like an amazing voice. And he maybe gets a lot of emotion across to a lot of people, and that's that's fair, but like in terms of like technical sound and pure sound, not letting your nose get too much in the way. Yeah. Making sure it's all open, it doesn't sound closed. He's fucking got it. Man. I know. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got it. Uh as I say I've said it every episode. Sick. Tightest band I've seen live. Maybe best singer I've seen live. He's unreal. He's he's really, really good. He's real it's good. By far. And like it, it's comforting to, to to know that not a lot gets done to that voice as well. Mm. It's just really good. So I'm yeah, when I it, when I sing, I, I do quite a lot of stuff to it afterwards. And maybe I, I'm sort of I'm starting to talk, like take some of that away because some of it's just like moaning. Sure. Yeah. About, want to make it sound like it's perfect yeah but i'm gonna let some of that go because it doesn't i mean it's, it's nah, the same. exactly i like yeah. that it was very the the phrase smooth as tennessee whiskey pops into the mind <laughs> it was very nice you know uh, that's not a chris stapleton song i'd believe that i thought he wrote i'd that believe song. that that's actually like 40 years yeah, old yeah i definitely that. believe that I'd and like I'd I'd class myself as someone who like knows country music pretty well. Like, um, name name every country. There's 196. So you've got. Um, oh, right. <laughs> Are you so, you like gearing up? Starting to... off with Yeah. Ah, Algeria. Alba- Albania. Albania. Definitely not Azerbaijan. It could be. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Anyway, Michael, you got a tune. Kicker, Tyler Chillers. Good song. I like it. I agree. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm only deciding now. The song I'll be doing is Cry, Die, Fly by Drew of the Drew. Nice. It goes like this. Yeah, that's <laughs> there we go. Loud enough? Yeah. 
Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. That, that was Beautiful. very interesting to hear the banjo played like oh, that. Yeah. Quirky. Like with so that, quirky. like in there. Yeah. Yeah, but it like worked like really well. I thought it was really fun. Because yeah. I mean it definitely made me Actually, rethink about how banjo can be used. Yeah. In there. Because it wasn't like a gimmick. I've never, I've never heard yeah, of that. it wasn't no, no, it, it wasn't no. like a bluegrass version of this song. It was just like in there as a as an instrument, yeah. which is fun. Yeah. It was just like a tonal it's just the tonal yeah. quality it has, that like sort of metallic I feel like it's the kind of thing that if the banjo weren't in it, you wouldn't think, oh, a banjo would fit in this, but... This needs a banjo. It's in really nicely. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, like, I don't know if it's... Like, it's a weird one. So the band is Drew of the Drew. I think that that's the guy, but I don't know if it, that's, like, his band, and he's like, oh, well, it's my band, but, you know, it's called Yeah. that. But he's the bass player, and then he's got... So you mind uh, I had Well Done by Childish Japes? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. The drummer is one of the two drummers that was on that track. I was getting was... a Childish Japes weird sort of vibe. Yeah, it's that kind of way that it's, I think it's like the, like, music school kind of, like, good, but like a bit fancy. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of vibe like... about it. But um, there's two drummers on that track, and <clears throat> JP Bouvet was one of them who also played in that. Japes it's, track. um, like, it's one of those songs I wish I could just, like, turn on the radio and hear. Right. Uh, yeah. Like, like I don't feel like there's a. Obviously, I don't listen to radio as much as I probably should, but um, I feel like you'd struggle to find that on just like yeah a general yeah, channel. Mm -hmm. Like it was just a really, really well. Put I would say the song. same for Liam's song as well because, because when it doesn't fit into a genre, all these radio stations are based around yeah magic yeah like. Soul. Uh, like, yeah, exactly. If it doesn't fit into that, and it's sort of groundbreaking in a way. You're never gonna yeah. fucking. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame. Yeah. That's yeah. really bad. Yeah. But yeah, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. I liked. Yeah, it was like modern vocals, sort of like really nice and soulful, with like a, a country banjo playing some licks, and then some of that harmony on. I wrote down on that always understand lyric. Mm hmm. The, the like, yeah, chords. Yeah, yeah. I really like that because it was it was a key center, but it, it really worked. Yeah, just really like uh, yeah. Really um, the singer was a wee bit like uh, Marcus King, like the same kind of style. Or just yeah, me neither. <laughs> <sighs> uh, mm, no. In the like I'd say, like I agree. Guitar was good. It's like really soulful. I don't know. Uh, just, it's, it's hard. To, I feel like they're really hard to compare, and I don't know enough Marcus King off the top of my head to be like, I or no. But I'll say sure. I I probably believe. <laughs> uh, just just kind of very <laughs> very soulful give you <laughs> and very like sparse. Like like not a lot said. Sparse with his lyrics. Just uh, kind of yeah. Just quality. Yeah, quality. no. The, the the guitar tone at the solo. Was like it reminded me of you know the solo in Reeling in the Years by Steely Dan. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like a like, little bit less than that, but it was like really, really hot. Yeah, mm -hmm. hot, sort of almost fuzzy but clean quite, at the same time. I like like quite like yeah, uh, it's like that kind of almost like I feel like it was almost like an operatic rock. And when I say that, I don't mean like Queen, right, but yeah. uh, like that kind of That's way that I feel like it's. Yeah. I don't know. It's meant like it's designed to sound so different. But also different from like a kind of normal guitar, almost. Yeah, yeah. The, the actual a solo itself was solo was really nice. Uh, yeah, I, re I really liked it. Like, I, re I like the track. They're, like, they're a weird band. I don't like everything that I've heard by them, but there's like two albums. I think I don't know if that's one of the first songs in it. That could, it could be. But uh, I got that from a flatmate uh, in Guildford who just knew. Like they both just knew about this band, so I was like, "All right, I'll listen to them." And I was like, "Kim, what? Do they know the drummer? Or they know the yeah, they, uh, I imagine it's probably through. Oh, I know that it was JP Bouvet, and it's it's an annoying one. I was trying to play along to it today, and I've done it years in the past as well, where I've tried to play along with it, and I will get to like the really busy bits, and I'm like, "Fucking, how's he doing on yeah. this?" And I'm like, "Oh wait, I right, two guys <laughs> playing like like they're really because I feel like they're really really synchronized for all, yeah. of it. and then it gets to bits like that where they're playing like separate parts on purpose." And you're like, well, not only is one of them like far better than me, but there's two of them. <laughs> yeah. So you reckon you could beat the other one in a drum off? 
<laughs> right, how do you know it's two though? It could just be one guy before that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> General Grievous. General uh, Kenobi. Uh, Hello there. I'm trying to get that reference. Have you not seen Star Wars? I've not seen Star Wars. Uh, no, I, I did. I did watch them. What the the new ones? Have... They are trash. No, no, no. I watched. I watched four, five, and six, but I have to say, I didn't. Like I, I think Star Wars is shape. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, it's like well, well, those things like when you're younger uh, and then when you get a wee bit older you realise I'm comparing it to Lord of the Rings, right? And it's just nowhere near it. It's a completely different league in my opinion. It's definitely like... You said it's like a different league but it's like the Baseball League and the American Football League and they're different because they're different sports. No, I, I believe like there's one really good A-League of movies and... <laughs> 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 what is... Aye, Star Wars. Is Objectively, I'm <laughs> No, it's just my own, my own league in my head. That's all. I don't know. I like, I like uh, the, I like the Star Wars universe. I don't like any of the Star Wars films. How if we went to Star Wars for this Because <laughs> is... I don't want to chat about Star Wars if it's just going to be hate. Because I really yeah. fucking love Star Wars and I've been in yeah. such a hype lately. I like the Mandalorian. No, mate, Battlefront, no, Battlefront enough, One mate. and Battlefront Two are excellent, right? Do not like the, the, like genuinely. The, the, the games the games far <laughs> outweigh the quality of the, the ones in 2005 I feel like Michael disagrees I, 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 I can't I, just, <laughs> I don't want to get into it <laughs> they're crap right they're crap when were they released how like in terms of like in Reven uh, Place uh, the Lord of the Rings when that was released Phantom was... Menace was 1999 and Revenge of the Sith was 2005 was um, Lord of the Rings like early 2000s as well? Yeah. I want to say Return of the Fellowship King was... One. Fellowship was 99, I think. I think yeah. Return of the King was 2003? Fellowship yeah, was 2001. Yeah. yeah. Wait, really? Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. They turned us Why? Oh, oh, well, you know why? Because they filmed them all at the same that's time. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. But <laughs> fucking hell, though. That's crazy. Wait, so it was one every year? Uh, yeah. I, so. yeah, I mean, I once. believe that. Because it's not like it's... I mean, at the time, it wasn't like it was going to be a franchise. So it's not like you're going to... Film them separately. Or four musicians react to Academy Award winning fantasy films. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. No, this is just this is just for the long form though. What do you think uh, about Avatar? Uh, good cinema film. <laughs> ah, good wrong good answer. We're talking about the T V <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, I watched I it. I never it. never seen it. I love it. Uh, I fucking. I just know because we're just we're just shitting so on everything games. Michael likes. <laughs> I'm gonna baldy, go baldy, baldy. Baldy. <laughs> No, I really liked I really liked the the cartoon back in the day. Never seen it. Back in the day, there the was sense, a good. But... Uh, do you remember on Sky you could like press like the yellow button and play games? Yeah, yeah, yeah I bet them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but there was a, there was an Avatar one that was pretty class. I remember that. It's uh, always just like peggling that though. It's. Uh, yeah. It's like the same format, slap like Meerkat Manor on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just as as <laughs> Beehive <laughs> Bedlam, except instead of like honeycombs, it's I don't know, like fucking gems or something, and uh, it's Ang's head. How mad is that? That is like I don't thing. know. Like that was like a gem. Imagine that now on the telly. I like. On your smart telly. I mean, that's oh, it's wait, basically that's like a uh, phone game. <laughs> isn't wait, it? Phone like, games before like telly. smartphones. See if you were uh, the devs on those games, You'd, and and then you seem like the rise of phone games, and you won me on that train. You'd be, <laughs> right You'd be like, what, what was that? How did I miss that? Yeah. It's just mad that Sky would have been like paying folk to make that though. I mean, like there was a guy, there was a team of folk whose job it was to make. Be Matt, there was like a game pass. Eh? So you That's, played it with your Sky robot, is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It would be like because you've got like a arrow keys. Basically, like a D-pad, uh, right? A D-pad and the select button in the middle. Here, what the? F what are we talking about? I, I bet there was some. There was some. <laughs> <laughs> you could get like a, a Sky Games controller for it. Get get player. get behind yeah, Bedlam on, on the like... screen, <laughs> and then the Sky robot. I don't even know what that is. Behind Bedlam. No, I don't Because uh, you could buy like a pass that was Beehive like. Behind Bedlam. Bedlam. Video game. Like... <laughs> the fucking Behind Bedlam Battle Pass. <laughs> <laughs> so you buy like a three quid pass that could allow you to have all the games or something. My gran like would that. always play Behind Bedlam. There we go. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's the one on the oh, far yeah. right. Like, 
Look at my head, it looked amazing. Aye, ah, that. Uh, far, no, no, the middle one, but the right and the left. Aye, on the, on the right. Here, they we. Oh, look, there's a wee sky channel. Yeah. <laughs> go, and, go on YouTube and, and search <laughs> BR Bedlam. I want to hear the music because I can't remember it. BR Bedlam speedrun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speedrun. <laughs> oh, no. Right, let me just find it first. I guess I see what you recommended videos. Uh, yeah, I see what you've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's private. Is this it here? BR Bedlam theme, play that. Oh, well, there's <laughs> off someone's telly. Oh, my look. God. New playing Beehive Bedlam again. <laughs> the top one, That's Sky Game oh Star Game eleventh anniversary. Share your share your computer audio. Oh, is it not doing that? I want to see if I can like start singing along if it's somewhere in my subconscious. Uh, um, I'm hoping that I'll recognise this. Honey bomb. Oh, do. Big on, little... big on touch, oh, playing beehive bedding. Oh, I think the honey bomb. <laughs> How can I not see? Oh my god, John, you're shy. You're fucking. Is the video audio on? It is. Zoom it. I can I see. Live troubleshooting of. <laughs> How to stream beehive bedlam. My guy is going in though. Look at him. Oh, I can't hear it though. Can you hear it, sorry. Yeah. Can you hear it? Let me stop sharing and starting. Okay. This is a... Uh, uh, is this the, the point at the... which we end the podcast? And then yeah, this is the trough. This is not a peak, this is a trough. <laughs> Wait, is that... Um, well, I can see your whole screen, Let's... but we can't hear it. You need to... You still can't hear nah. it. Poker Stars UK on the desktop. You've got a problem, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> no, that says that. He plays once a week with his pals. With real money. No, it doesn't. Yeah, that's enough of that. I can't even hear it. I'm going to have to look it up myself. <laughs> I wanted to hear the music. That's on theme. I, I heard it. I heard it there. Literally, no one needs to hear that. It's, yeah, no one gives a fuck. It's just some. Um, <laughs> I didn't even get on to it. We got some... a nice song to Liam shitting on Star Wars and then Avatar. I never. I, where was. Uh... I never shot on Star Wars. Uh... Because we were oh. talking about we went Battle from front. we went from Avatar to Avatar the TV show, and I right. said Liam was actually show, just went the Sky. game on Sky. Right. Okay. Liam was just baiting me with the Avatar the film though. I remember this. Yeah, I'm I'm not in a that joke. Did they? That was just literally just Liam baiting me. I'll just repeat. It's mad how much a name crap. We could get away with just like putting towards kids, eh? Like, yeah. just the same tune for like like a 20 second loop of a tune. Dip, 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 dip. Over and, like, over and over and over. If you're not paying attention to it though, like it'd get like any of as well though. You know what I mean? Like, it's just. If there's like another sound effect on top, you're going to pay attention to that and then that's just filler. Hey, you know what it was like? The, the, when we used to play Fortnite. And it was their birthday or whatever, for, and it would play that same song in the bus for a week. Oh, yeah, yeah. And because we were shite and died all the time, we heard it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, to be fair, I mean, we can still like go up to each other and go. I think Hans Zimmer, Hans Zimmer had something to do with that. Or if it wasn't that, he'd done the campaign for like Modern Warfare 2. Mad. Yeah. I believe. An actual, an actual I believe film score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Hans Zimmer did do the end up too. Yeah. Aye. Black Ops, but the Black Ops. Finished. Um, um, I finished Red Dead Two again the other day, and kind of got to hear all that end of like end of game why? of the music that they had for it. And it's just so <laughs> nice. Right. So, um, just a final note on the tunes. Right on Red Dead Two. Mm -hmm. Right. See the uh, mission where you go. Spoiler alert. To, spoilers, spoilers, spoiler alert for Red Dead Redemption uh, 2. You go to the Braith, is it the Braithwaite Mansion and try and yeah. find Jack? Uh, right. Oh, no, oh no, the... The Bronte... Uh, the, what's it called? the guy and... No, 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 the, the mansion mission where you go and shoot up the mansion. Do they have Jack? No, you hink, they hink. They don't you, have Jack, you hink, they but, but you think... Oh, right, okay, spoilers. sure. Right, and then she goes, He's with Angelo, brother. <laughs> right, That's that, one. that one, right? Right, uh, See the soundtrack of that mission, right? That is probably the best 
I think I've ever heard in a game. Like, just if you've no, if you can't remember it, go back and listen to that mission. I'm gonna do um, it right now. Excellent. Excellent. Oh. I watched a 40 minute review of that game this morning. Did you do it again? agree with the review? You know, he actually pointed out a lot of holes in the game, or a lot, I hate a lot when of that flaws happens. that I didn't really see. And I mean, it doesn't need to take away from Like, I was watching it and I was like, that's a fair point, but I still really enjoy the game. Yeah, the game's repetitive. <laughs> I'd say that. Like, like the kind of way it's structured, but. Aye, ah, there, there was valid. Is it like Assassin's Creed, where at a certain point you're doing the same. No, it was more the same like thing, but in a different context. I think a lot of the points uh, that the guy I watched this morning was saying was it's more repetitive in that Rockstar games are kind of yeah. repetitive and they're starting where the games, whether it was by, by design or by chance, would let you have a lot of choice. There's a lot of that removed, and then the choice that you do have is kind of more like you. It's almost like it's designed to make you think you've got choice, but really, oh, the outcome yeah. of the game will be exact same. Yeah, roughly yeah. similar, you know. The exact yeah. same with a different animal that appears on the rock. Look at the yeah, you know, like different. Is it like one of those one of those like tricks where it's like pick a number between one and seven, <laughs> and everyone always picks seven? Yeah, you know, maybe not, <laughs> not, uh, not a million miles away from that kind of is idea. It, is the video title um, like Rockstar's game designs outdated or something? Yes, I have seen. I watched that <laughs> about a year ago. Speaking yeah, of, that, speaking of like, this morning, uh, just cause critiquing something you love and having it not take away from the actual yeah. thing. I remember watching a. Uh, uh, like 15 mistakes you didn't notice in the dark night or whatever and it it's like doing like, <laughs> a, like a scenic shot of like a big building in the dark night and then he slow mows it and you can just see the helicopter that it's being <laughs> <out> of. <laughs> <laughs> but i mean yeah. I, don't, I, I don't care yeah <laughs> yeah i seen a thing on i think it was on reddit i seen a thing on reddit and it was like some like movie it was like r slash movie details and it was like Oh, if you pause here, you can see like the wire, and it's like, and then the guy was like, "I think this comes under things that director didn't imagine this would be watched on a fifty-inch telly that's 4K. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Similarly, though, uh, with things not being ruined by people comment on them. <laughs> I was class. Thoughts. I think Avatar's class. <laughs> uh, have a good week, folks. That's all for us. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Find it there. Us. So now that the recording stopped, here's why I started. Oh, God, stop. <laughs>